the dog's missing. Here. So open up Sony Vegas Pro. Um, if you want that link, it's on my website for free. Open up Vegas Vegas. Opening up Vegas Pro 9.0 64-bit, which usually is 64-bit. Yes, mic. I was going to guess what mic I use if you think it's good. No, anyway. They will let that load for this extensively long video. Mm. Okay, they're opening up here. Take this. Go ahead and um, go ahead and import your video, media, or music. I'm gonna go ahead and use "You Make the Rainfall" by Kevin Rudolph. Oh gosh, this is my take two. Mm. I usually take one or take two. Some video. There it is. Mm. I'm take this and we'll add this track. Okay, here's the regular version. But, this is what we do when we edit it. Oh, so technically I'll do is right click, apply now on real time effects, and pick what you need. I go to volume first, add, and I'd all, and I'd also, and I'd also, oh gosh, no, get out of here. Yeah. Hide. Oh, not that hide. Just minimize. Anyway, then go ahead and find pitch shift, which is right here. Hit add and hit OK. And here is a pitch. You can just change it to like that for like. Which sounds really weird. And then you can do the switch. Uh, usually what I do is I preserve the duration. I go to A19, Tiny Echo. But it may be even 3, 4. Which kind of sounds like a kid singing it. But you don't really want minus 4. Minus I think this is how they use. Literally. You can go, then you can just hit take three, save this. Not this load. And now you got remix music. I mean, it's worse than the regular version, but. It's worse, you know? Can't do copyright. You want to get caught by YouTube? Close your account. Even if you have 2,000 subs, no. Remix video. I approve this mess. And I totally approve this message to always remix your audio using Sony Vegas. If you want Sony Vegas Pro 